Hey there, it's Brooks here from documentsnap.com. The other day I was reading a blog post by Jonathan Bowman over at Adobe, and I learned about a feature of Adobe Acrobat that I had never noticed before. And that is, you can create a batch, what's called a batch processing, that will allow you to do something to a whole bunch of PDFs at once. And his post specifically was about how to run batch OCR on a bunch of PDFs at once. So this lets you take a whole bunch of PDFs that you have scanned and make them searchable. Now if you've read the blog for a while you know that I have a AppleScript droplet that will basically do that. You put a bunch of files on it and then and then it uh, runs Adobe one after the other. But this is a way to do it inside Acrobat and it works on both Mac and PC. So the demo I'm going to give you is on the Mac but it's exactly the same if you're using Windows. So you can see here I have a couple PDFs and I'm going to make a a batch processing rule that will go through and uh, OCR them. So first we're going to go advance, document processing, and then choose batch processing. And what I'm going to do next is hit new sequence. And I'm going to call it batch OCR. You can call it whatever you want. But that's just what I'm going to call it. So the first thing you want to do is choose what you want to do. So I'm going to hit select commands and you can see there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do. So you might want to go through here and see if there's other document type stuff that you want to do. But what I'm going to do is go look for recognize text using OCR and hit add. If you click the triangle here you can see there's some other options that you can choose. So you can change any of these. So let's say I wanted to make it a different quality. So I'm going to double click on that and make it 300 dpi instead of 600 and hit OK. I don't know why I do that but let's just say I'm going to and we'll hit OK. The next is run commands on and that's where you tell it what files you want to do. So the default is whenever you run this it's going to ask you uh, which files you want to run it on but we want to make it as seamless as possible so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click there and choose selected folder and now when I do that and choose the folder it's going to go through and any PDFs that it finds it's going to uh, run OCR on so I'm going to choose and we'll go to my desktop and there you go so that's the folder where the PDFs are the unprocessed PDFs are and then you can have a select output location. So you can have it keep in the same, you can send it to another folder, um, whatever you want. Let's just say we're going to move it to another, or put it in another folder. So you can choose specific folder. And of course we need to tell it where to put it if we're going to do that. So I'm going to hit choose, and I made an output folder here. Now if you click output options, you can see there's a bunch of options here. You can keep the same name, you can have it um, overwrite the existing files, which you may want to do. I'm not going to do it for this demo, but it may be not a bad idea just to not have two copies of the same files, um, but just for this purpose. You can have it, you know, a name before or after. You can uh, do a whole bunch of stuff. So we're going to keep it as PDF, and we're going to hit OK. So now we're telling it to recognize the text, look in this folder, send it to this folder, and set the options. So now we'll hit OK. So now you can see here we've got our batch OCR sequence here. So all you need to do to run it is run sequence. And it's just telling it what it's going to do, and hit OK. And we'll let this run through. So you can see it's doing number one of two. And you know, depending on how many PDFs you have, obviously it, that depends how long this is going to take. We only have two here, and it's done. So if we hit close and go to the output folder, you can see here we've now got two two PDFs here. And you can see here it's now searchable. So there you go. That's how you do batch processing with 
um, Adobe Acrobat. I can see it being quite handy, so I hope it is for you too. Thanks.